What's up, everybody? Well, I got another Asus G15 Advantage gameplay video for you guys today. And today, we're going to check out some Street Fighter VI. Now, we already did 1080p and it handled it just fine, but I want to do 1440p as well for those guys who got the 1440p model. So, it handled 1080p great. Now, we're going to see 1440. And now, I can actually connect to my capture computer right from there. So, I don't even have to pick the thing up and unplug it from the wall and do all this shit. I'm just still wearing the USB-C port out. But, look how many times I've connected that bitch and it's still working. So, I mean... And I'm an extreme example. If I can do all this for a year plus, it should be absolutely flawless for most people, unless you get a dud. And that just happens to every kind of electronic. Everybody can get a dud. But that just sucks when you do, because then you're, most people are like, okay, no, I don't trust that product anymore. I'm not going to give it a second chance. And that sucks, because it's a great laptop. Anyway, though, I'm rambling. Let's go hop in, look at the settings real quick, and then we'll get some screen recorded gameplay, and then we'll get a little camera recorded gameplay too. Okay, so now we're going to do some 1440p. So let's look through the settings here. We're going to do 1440p, as I said. And it says custom, but it's on highest. I just turned a couple things like motion blur off and depth of field and put it up to 120. And this is borderless window. There is no full screen, so it is what it is. And then, I am not gonna lie, I completely forgot to go to the detail graphics, but they're the same as they were in the last video. So, to the game. Well, now, here we go. Jumping into the game here. 1440p, highest settings. Now, it's still just gonna be 60 during the fights, but as long as it can stay at that the whole time, we're good. If it can't, then we got ourselves a problem, but it should be able to. It was doing 1080p on easy mode, and 1440p is a little harder to run, but it's not like insanely harder to run. Yeah, GPU is still not even bothered by it. Hell, this is my laptop might even be able to play this game at 4K. So if anybody wants to see me do that, just let me know. I've just kind of stopped doing ultra wide and 1440p on the, or uh, not 1440p, ultra wide and 4K on the laptop, just because not very many people are watching those videos very often. Every once in a while, there'd be an outlier, but most of the time, no one cared that much about those, so I stopped doing them. Unless people request, because I figured I could move on to other things and actual real requests and stuff instead of wasting time doing stuff nobody even asked for, you know? Still though, running good. Now this game does have to like do the shader compilation at the beginning, but it's very fast in this game. I mean, it's, especially because this demo might be longer once the actual full game comes out, but since it's just a demo, it was done in like a minute, if that. And as you can see, we're not getting huge lag spikes, except for like right there. We get little ones when you like KO and pop in and out of the little bracky windows. Like here, we still get some, but while you're actually fighting, it seems to be quite smooth. We'll have to keep watching that frame time graph. Yeah, seems pretty damn smooth most of the time. Flying up a cook. <laughs> Yeah, so far so good in the actual fight. We're not getting any stutters. Now when we get the KO, that seems to be where we get a little tiny frame drop in the frame times there, but who cares about that really? I certainly don't. As long as it's smooth in the actual game, in the actual fight, that's all I care about. Now if it was Stutter City, that would be impossible to enjoy a fighting game. Just like it'd be impossible to enjoy a racing game or first person shooter. These games are all about smoothness. But they're also usually pretty easy to run, too. I was even able to get 60 average in fights on the Steam Deck with pretty decent settings. Hey, screw you. No way. Wow, he got me with a shred of life. Oh, well. Not a big deal. That gives us a chance for a final round. Yeah. 
I punch, 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 and I punch some more. Oh, he had enough of my punching. Right, now it's time for another battle here. Hell yeah. I still need a lot more practice with Ryu. Damn, I just got bounced over the wall. I thought he was going to punch me in the face and like juggle me for a second there. I also have to learn to just block in games like this. I'm so aggressive and I never block. Computers are great at blocking. I mean, their computers, they don't mess up too often, even on the easier stuff. Alright! And with that, let's move on to some camera. Alright guys, let's get some! Oh, yeah. 
you lose some. Well, alright guys, that is a wrap for Street Fighter 6, 1440p, and it handled it just fine. But yet again, it still just limits it to 60 drink fights for some reason, even though it lets you have a 120 limit. I don't know what that's for if you can't use it in anything besides like the little cutscenes in between fights. That's kind of silly. But maybe it's maybe it'll be unlocked in other modes. This is just a demo after all. All things are subject to change here once the game actually comes out. But in any case, as you saw, handled it just fine. No huge stutters or anything like that. But that is all we got for this video. It's time for me to now move on to the main computer and finish finish this on up. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out guys.